There's Mary. It's been far too long since I seen your face. I miss you ever so much. While I do enjoy the company of my fellow men, they do not satisfy me as you do. I hope the plantation continues to do well. I trust that you have kept a careful watch over our slaves. But in my absence, I fear you've been far too lenient with the whippings, a situation I shall rectify with my return. It has been a long and brutal winter. We're starving and bitter cold. Several of the men have lost their feet. Now we are just bitter cold. I'm eager to return to my old job. Having learned such valuable skills such as gutting a man like a fish with a bayonet, setting entire towns on fire, and using the bodies of my fallen comrades for rifle practice, Mr. Fletcher is sure to welcome me back to my old job at the printing press. Perhaps he will see fit to promote me. Last night, General Robert E. Lee urinated in my tent. It was an honor. We have just heard the news regarding the Emancipation Proclamation. Evidently, Abraham Lincoln, not my president, has freed the slaves. Feel free to inform our slaves that they are free as well. Free to continue picking our cotton, that is. As our march takes us further into Union territory, I fear it shall be a long time before I return home. I will do my best to send you a souvenir following our certain victory at Gettysburg. Hello, Mom. Yes, I'm still at the Civil War reenactment, Mom. I'll be home in a couple of days. Yes, I brought clean underwear, Mom. <laughs>